Good evening everyone, my name is Whiskey Wallace and welcome to the tasting room, or my kitchen. Today I'm going to be tasting a Jack and Daniels Coke mashup. This is going to be tested in three ways. I'm going to do uh, just in the can, in a glass, and uh, in a glass with ice. So we're going to see how it tastes just in general, how it compares to a regular Jack and Coke, and let's find out. This is already cold. I've had this in the fridge for a while. I'd show you the box, but I threw that out a while ago. So we're going to start with the can taste. This is a 7% alcohol by volume. It smells like, oop, smells like it's on the floor. It tastes like whiskey coke. So that's cool. I have to say though, I've tried this one before, I'm not gonna lie. However, it tastes different. I've had this sitting here for a while, like a month or two. Does this have a best by date on it? It does not. Okay. It's actually a lot more mellow than it was the first time. The first time I tried it was harsh. This is a lot softer, way more drinkable way better than I actually thought it was going to be. I was kind of dreading doing this. So let's do this. It looks like Coke. Smell is just as pretty much exactly what it tastes like. Tastes a little worse. The oaky finish totally stands out. Definitely know what's there. Not, not too bad. I guess aging it a little bit makes it better because um, I hated it the first time. Like I thought it was just disgusting. I don't like Jack Daniels, generally speaking, but this makes it a lot more tolerable, probably because it's, you know, mixed with Coke, but I mean, beforehand, it tasted so much more like Jack than it did like Coke before, it was, it was actually really weird. So I'm gonna throw some ice in here, we'll see how it waters down. So I've got four of these weird oblong freezer cubes. You can see it bubbles up pretty well. I like it better by itself. I thought I'd like it better with... Yeah, no, it's better without ice, I think, actually. Um, the ice brings out the, the whiskey, the aged oak flavors way more, where it overpowers the Coke. The regular in the glass, the can, it's almost negligible, but the can I think I like the most. It was probably partially because you're not smelling as much, so that bit of the flavor kind of gets muted when you're, as opposed to drinking it out of a glass that hits you in the face while you drink it, but I mean overall, it's decent. It tastes like whiskey, mixed with coke. It's got okay carbonation. It flattens out pretty quick, but that might have to do with how long I've had it. Alright, I got it March 3rd, and uh, today is April 20... 20th, I believe, as of recording. Um, so yeah, I've had it for a little over a month and a half. Not that old, actually. Not as old as I thought, but it does have that mellowed out flavor. So it's, I mean, hey, it's worth a shot if you like Jack Daniels, then you'll probably like this a lot more. If you drink Jack and Cokes regularly, this is a good substitute. Uh, probably not cheaper than just buying your own whiskey and your own Coke, because Jack Daniels is super cheap. Um, though, soda prices have been going up, so I'll leave that up to you. Overall, I mean, originally my taste would have been not buy again. If I was looking for something like this, 
this is what I would get. And it's pretty solid. Uh, you know, I thought I could make more jokes, but <laughs> it is pretty straightforward. So thanks for watching. And I hope, uh, hope you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff because I'm going to be posting it whether you like it or not for now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.